previously. Right, so I figured out where I want this to be. Now, I would have liked this to be quite close to this area, but unfortunately, just the wiring alone is going to be such a nightmare, I, I can't do that. So we're going to warp over to this place, and then we're going to head back just a little bit, and we're going to build it on the edge of here. Now, if you remember, this originally was all corruption, but we've nicened it up. I mean, oh, just look at this place. It's beautiful. And it does look natural as well, and that's the good thing about it. It doesn't look man-made. Now, let's see. Let's do it here. I think if I've... Hmm... You know what, I don't even really need to flatten the land for this. I think I'd probably like it if it wasn't flattened. Go away. I will need to clear out the grass. I don't care for your debrim seeds. Hmm, do I do one here where this water is or not? If I do one... I'm not sure how wide I want them. Screw it, let's just build it and... See how things go as we progress. Pop that there. Now, first things first, what we're going to do is get out the wood and the glass. Which is here and here. And this is for the initial build of it. So I kind of want to go for the similar style, but perhaps much better looking than I did on this thing here. See the X in the middle? I want to do something similar to that. So if we dig out let's see, one, two, three, four. Now I don't want to dig it out. I want to do it on top. I can just bury the platforms in. That would make sense if I do one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the ninth, so there's eight in between. And if I do one of one here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and on the ninth. And if we needed to... No, no, I'm, I'm happy with how that is. So what we can do a look is just dig under... Just say two under each. Oops. Three in the case of that one. And then put wood in that. Just to give it the looks of stability. So it's not going to fall over because it is actually wedged in the ground. Like so. Kind of blends in. I guess once it's, once it's painted it won't matter. So how high do I want this? That high, I guess. Now I want three of these. I'm just building two right now just to sort of get the dimensions squared away. Uh, two of the... That's the do like that and then the same here and then take off this and this and then do like that is this gonna look right this looks really weird to me that doesn't look like an X at all I forget having a shallow X then. Let's make it tall when the time comes. Uh, let's put on the platform. Would one? I think one more height on each of these is going to be good. You know what? Let's have a little bit of music on so I can concentrate.
I think that is the style I want to go for. And then what I can do if I open up this is get the outlet pump and just pop it here. Does it have to be on top of something? Okay, uh, maybe some wooden platforms, but then would it... Ah, I know, Where's my, there's my glass. Let's do it like this. And then... No, that can't work. The thing is, it pumps out over its own block in a downward fashion. So, it's just going to be very awkward to do. Because it needs to have space below it. Uh, and then, if I was to go like that, and like that, then maybe put a platform. Uh, do that. And then that. And put it like that. I kind of want it to be higher up. Uh, hmm. It's all about aesthetics with me. It's got to look pleasing. Let's do this then. And then smash that. So good job glass isn't broken forever, I'd be so annoyed. And then if we do something like this. Maybe. I don't think that's gonna work properly, is it? Uh It needs to have those ones disappeared. I don't like the fact that this is hovering. Maybe I can connect it with some... I can't connect it with platforms because platforms get washed away by... Do they get wa I don't think they do get washed away by liquid. I think they are just... Okay, yeah, that'll work. Give me that. I need to go home. And I want to grab or craft up. I think I may have some. No, it looks like I threw them away. I'm going to craft up some glass... stands. What are they called? these glass platforms. I don't really need, I'll just make ten. And I probably want a load of glass wall, but we'll come back for that. And it's getting close to the frost moon again. Shall I tackle it again tonight? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll do one more frost moon, and then I'm going to call it for the day. And off camera, I will finish building the rest of these, because it's not like a huge build or anything, there's no point doing a let's build around it off, forcing you to watch me repeating the same process. So if I just put like this, and then put the pump on top, and then I can close these off. Like this. And that should pump downwards. Did I put the correct one on? Where's my other pump? I left it in here, didn't I? Inlet sends water to outlet. So it should come out of here and it should flow down because it flows through platforms. I guess I could always seal off the top. I kind of like having the top open though. I'll figure something out. If I... Ah, I'll just do it off camera. Right, let's get ready for this final frost moon. I'll say final. Final for now. Right, we need to get some pumpkin pine icon. I think this is our last icon. Yikes, I'm going to have to start crafting some more of that, aren't I? Now, once again, I'm going to be on the lookout for treasure whilst simultaneously trying to empty my inventory constantly because of all the crap that is going to be in it. It's one of the worst things, and I, n no one has come up with a way yet to stop it, and I'm not blaming you guys. It is just seemingly like there is going to be no way. 
I don't want that. Question is, do I want the shield or not? In terms of that one. Right, I've done it. I've, I might regret taking out that shield if I get hit with some debuffs. It's not going to bode well for me. Right, so we do present, flask, pie, 10 on everything. Now, the only times I'm going to empty my inventory is with things like the bone swords and the ancient helmets, because they don't stack. Things like the fishing stuff stack, so I can get tons of those and not worry. But if I pick up loads of bone swords and ancient helmets, that's just going to fill up my inventory space. Right, well we definitely got a lot more treasure on that run. I'm going to quickly speed through and grab any that's been left on the sidelines. I'll keep forgetting to check up here. There's nothing up there anyway, so that's fine. But yeah, we definitely got a lot more that time, but I did have to actively go out and grab it when I spotted it before it disappeared. So let's quickly throw away just all this trash filling up our inventory. Put on the correct equipment. One thing to note, um, the ank shield, I should never have taken that off. I forgot it prevents knockback, so I was constantly getting bounced around in here. Luckily I had the foresight to grip down like that so I couldn't get knocked around. Um, and then I went into my inventory and I replaced it. Now we found a grand total of three different items from that. One of the first ones we got, in fact the first one we got, let's get out of here. The first one we got was the Christmas hook. I don't know how good this is, so I'll have a quick look. Uh, it doesn't say. So, for reference, our dual hook, we cannot hang around, but what we can do is fire off two very quickly in case we miss. The Christmas hook is once again uh, one of these climbing around ones, but it looks cool with all this light. In fact, I wonder if they do display light. Let's find somewhere dark. Let's go to our elevator and we'll fire off a couple of these and see if they do... I mean, they have lights on them, so it would make sense. What on here? I've got my own light above my head, don't I? You know, they do display some light. It's not a lot, but it is some. Now, we also found a Christmas tree sword. If we check out the stats on that, it is... 104 melee damage. My 
Horseman's Blade is only, well I say only, 122, but it's legendary. If the Christmas Tree Sword gets leveled up, I imagine that would do pretty good as well. It's got 23% critical strike chance, 28%. Average, spray, average speed, no, very fast speed, and average, strong not like, I'm getting my words mixed up. Shoots Christmas ornaments. Oh, I love that noise. Right, you can fire them off very quickly. Unfortunately, I have to tap it. You can't hold it down. It doesn't work like that. So that sucks. It'll never get used. The other thing we got is the chain gun. 36 range damage. Insanely fast speed. I find, in fact, I think this is the fastest weapon in the entire game. Very weak knockback and also 50% 50 chance not to consume ammo. Now that can be improved further with different ammo such as the shroomite armor, which drastically reduces chance to consume ammo, as well as things like the magic quiver, but that's only for arrows, but there are variants like this one, increased range damage and stuff. Now that could be very good. Now the issue with this is that it, um, it has a very wild, inaccurate spread. If I get some ammo out, what ammo would be useful? Musket balls, maybe? Will they work? They work. So let's have a look how fast it just batters through these. And you see, sometimes it's not using ammo. Now, musket balls are one of the weakest. And it still does 42 damage. That's crazy. Now, the... This can be further improved through the use of bullets, increasing its... Not only increasing its damage, but you can rid it of its only weakness, you know, the wild spread. If you create chlorophyte bullets, which are expensive because they're made of chlorophyte, but what they do is they will um, actively seek the enemy. They will home in on them. Now, I have no idea how to craft chlorophyte bullets. Let's have a look. I need some musket balls. Oh, so you get 70 pair. That's pretty good. So if you take 70 musket balls out and one shroomite bar will make 70... I mean, one chlorophyte bar will make 70 chlorophyte bullets. That is a lot cheaper than I was expecting. I really did not expect it to be that cheap. So let's pop away these in the correct chest. And let's test out these chlorophyte bullets. We should be doing more damage. They do 17 it says there, look, chases after your enemy. So let's find something to track down and gun down. And we'll uh, get a bit of distance and see just how good the track... I'm not sure how good the tracking is on them, but we can always have a look. If anything shows up. Enemies? Hello? Any enemies want to show the face? Hallow. Right, Hallow will always spit stuff out of me, won't it? Come on, Hallowed enemies, where are you? So what I'll do first is I'll fire off a few shots to see how powerful it is. And then I'll try out the tracking on it. If anything freaking shows up... Ah, here we go. There's a, this is probably a good test for the tracking. Where's my cursor? So there it is. I can't see that very well. Oh, they... They really... I was aiming straight up and it tracked it all the way down. And they did... Was it 70 damage per shot? I'm going to shoot up. Look at that. I'm going to fire this way. And it fired backwards and got it. 96 damage on a critical. And again, it it's not going to really use up that much ammo because of the chance to consume ammo. This is actually an amazing weapon. If I was a 102 damage, if I was a ranged character, this would be very good. Now, in fact, if I go to my Titan armor, I think that might have some very good ranged bonuses on it. Uh, chance not to consume ammo. Chance not to consume ammo. Chance not to consume ammo. Let's let's put it on and let's just have a look at how often our ammo will go down. Uh, let's put it on here, here, and here. So we have a grand total of 
my god, so that's ten... Where is it? Five percent chance not to consume ammo, plus five percent, plus... Five percent. Fifteen percent chance, plus a grand total of an extra twenty-eight percent chance is a 33% chance. Add on to the 50% chance from the gun. We have an 88% chance not to consume ammo. Look at that. Look at the ammo counter. That is insane. And I think there are other accessories as well that will augment this even further. So yeah, just um, bear that in mind if you want to use the chain gun. Because somebody did ask me to leave a little review of the chain gun. If you want to use it, I really recommend it, especially if you have the Titan armor. If you don't have the Titan armor, the Shroomite armor, I believe, provides a similar effect, as does the... Uh, what's the other armor? There's another armor that does something similar. It's not a new one, though. It's an older one. It's the Necro armor, made out of bones and spider webs. But wow, that is really amazing just how powerful it is and everything else what am I gonna do mate I'll just stick it on here for now I'll sort this out later don't you worry so chain gun we'll put it away we may break it out every so often just to you know, have a little bit of fun with it but otherwise I'm not seeing too much use for it as is let's put it with this right let's get on with some stuff but I'm gonna do this off camera, right. Inventory, crap. I'm going to get back to building these things, these... I, I did I ever explain what they are? I don't think I did. Well, you, you might have already guessed. If you haven't, then, um, no, leave your guess in the comments, and when we come back, I will show them. They'll be fully built, but they'll not have the correct stuff done to them, because that is going to be done on camera. I want to record that. Now hopefully this setup will work though. <sighs> For now though, goodbye.